It's been about a month now since I quit cooking, and it still haunts me. I don't think I'll ever be able to move on from forgetting the lamb sauce a second time. It's so bad that my clothing has been reset to factory default, and I'm back at noob level with a gray shirt and gray shorts. I've also been experiencing more tripping problems than usual. Slipping and falling was a previous problem of mine, but ever since the second lamb sauce incident, it, it's fallen on me like a plague, caused uh, damage of brain a lot, and I don't know if I'm ever going to recover because I keep taking fall after fall. No offense to Josh Allen. I've been having to take care of this dog more and more, and it is not quite that easy. Dog causes a lot of chaos. Every now and then I have to walk past my kitchen, which just brings back all the nightmares. Gordon Ramsay <clears throat> has started a YouTube channel, clearly copying me. He's gained a few more subscribers than me and gets a few more views than me. It's quite annoying. You can clearly see he used the word grilled, which is direct reference to my grilled cheese video. It's just sad how much he wants to be me. A few days ago, I encountered a problem. Uh, when I thought I was on an all-time low, I hit a new low. I uh, couldn't get up the stairs t in time after turning off the lights and... Ended up falling into the back rooms. It was pretty scary at first. Uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do. How I was going to get it out. But then I met into Jabberito and his wife, Jabberita. Which is pretty crazy. I kept moving on and then I, I ran into a back rooms crab rave. And this was wild. I ended up joining in, to be honest. Because, I mean, a party's a party, even if it's in the back rooms. Um... Yeah, things are wild down there. I had no idea the back rooms was cool like this. Then Jabberito came in. He started joining. He was busting it down. It was pretty crazy. Uh, back rooms are kind of lit. Kind of wish I could have stayed. I ended up wandering around. Got a little bit lost. Figured I should probably try to make an escape because I didn't really want to be there forever. Because uh, I had to watch Mahomes win the Super Bowl. Um, however, I ran into some weird sign, but... I couldn't really read what it said because the person had bad handwriting. All of a sudden, Jabarito was back, and he was running, and I thought I figured we are playing tag. So I started running, too, and it probably looks in this clip like I was scared, but I was not even scared a little bit because I was clearly faster than him, though he was kind of gaining on me. He was making screaming noises and all that, but I was not scared, like, even a little bit. Uh, eventually, he started, he kind of gave me a minor massive heart attack by jump scaring me, and um, basically... When he jumped up on me like that, knocked me back into the real world. I was hoping I wasn't going to land in South Carolina. Luckily, I landed back in Ohio, which some say is worse, but it's clearly better. And I decided now it was time. I escaped the back rooms. It was time to move on from cooking and try to find something new that I could do. Mahomes inspired me so much, so I continued to watch him. Dominate the universe, as he always does, because he's crazy. I uh, started building Legos. Thought I was pretty good at it, but I couldn't follow the instructions very well, so I was pretty bad. Had to quit that. Took a trip to Cleveland to watch the Cleveland Cavaliers. And um, all it really taught me was how bad my camera quality was. Kevin Love, even, he, like he started twerking on me. Um, which was pretty crazy if you ask me. I decided that I should try basketball for myself because it shouldn't really be that hard to become an NBA player within a few weeks. NBA takeover begins now. Drive to the paint. Post up. Spin. Drip. Oh. Man, what? So I gave up on that and tried up piano. That was pretty good, as you can hear here. However, in piano, which is way too boring for me. So then I decided the last thing I should try was art. And uh, I was thinking for a long time as to what the first thing I should draw was. But I decided that since I love hard work and dedication, I was going to draw like some tools and how much I love them. Um, and the piece, like I thought, turned out pretty well. Uh, but uh, I, 
I had to make some uh, last second changes to the drawing. So after some intense thinking for five seconds and seeing how many views I had gotten, I decided I should probably return to cooking. This is the final resting place of my cooking spoon. And we are here to recover it. <laughs> so that was really easy because of my pure strength. And oh, let's see if we can find it here. Oh. It is mine once again. Gordon Ramsay better be shaking in his boots, which are probably a nasty rip-off brand of boots because he's so bad, because I have returned.